Today I'm going to show you one way to make a braided leather clip and I'm going to be using our faux suede leather cording and you can get this cording at our store at riverstarsupply.com and I've already pre-cut this one into two lengths and you're going to need probably about two two and a half yards worth of cording to actually make this clip and we also offer through our store a few different clip ends that you can use to customize and uh, and complete your clip. So I'm going to start with this piece right here. So essentially we need to make the ends about the same length and we're going to make the loop at the top. So I'm going to, you can make this however big or however small you want. And that's determined in this next step here where we take the second piece and make the collar around the loop. So I'm gonna make our loop about that big. And once again, we'll kind of even these off and we're gonna lay that onto there like this. So the easiest kind of way to braid these is to think of this simple rule. So the left-hand side goes over two strands, the right-hand side goes over one strand. And as long as you carry that pattern on, you'll have a braided clip by the end of this. So left hand side over two and right hand side over one. Now you can see it's kind of hard to do this when it's floating in the air. So I actually like to use a piece of tape and just tape it down to our table. Here, I'm gonna move these up so I can keep this in frame here. I'm gonna start it right up here. So we'll tape that to our table. And another thing we wanna keep in mind is because as we're doing the braid, we'll wanna keep these as flat as possible every time we go over. So, left hand side over two, right hand side, over one and we'll keep these flat and we'll just we're just going to carry that pattern on until we get to whatever length we want to make this i mean we could make a really short one we could make a long one it all depends what uh what you want to use it for and uh but today we're going to make one that's maybe i don't know let's just keep going and we'll see how long we make it so We'll keep on braiding here. So left hand side over two, right hand side over one. That's the easiest way to do it. Well, not the easiest way, but it's the easiest way to remember to do it. And we're just gonna carry this pattern on and keeping them flat. Because if we keep them flat, you can see we get like this nice kind of flat looking braid. Just as I say that, that one crosses over. And so we're just gonna carry this pattern on until we get a nice clip. We've got a good portion of the braid braided out here and we'll do a couple more just to kind of get our final length um so we'll go left over two right over one and we'll do that one more time that one. there we go so we got a nice good loop here with a good section for that and uh just to just to recap there so we we did um two equal lengths that's it's kind of important because you can see here that these actually get a bit shorter, the shorter ones being the length taken up by the loop. And then we have two longer ones. So if we keep them the same length, the shorter ones won't get too short. So to finish this off now, what we're gonna do, because now we have our braid sitting here at the bottom, we're gonna have two cords in the middle that's what we're gonna use to attach our clip. And then we have these two. These two we're gonna treat 
as a method of locking in the braid. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So, all we're gonna do here is do a simple knot and we'll tie that right here. So, right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that same knot but on the other side. So we're gonna rotate this over and we're gonna finish this knot up. Now you can, it's completely up to you, but you can use like a non-toxic glue to actually glue these into place to make sure that they don't come undone. But our vegan leather cord that we have, is it's got the perfect amount of friction that it actually kind of locks into place really nicely. So if you get them tight enough, you shouldn't need the glue, but it's completely up to you whether you're gonna to wanna to use that or not. For this one, I'm not going to. So I'm gonna give it a bit of tension there, make that nice and tight. And then all we're gonna do is snip that off and snip that off. So now we've locked in our braid with those two strands that were coming out the side and we're left with two more that we're gonna use to tie our clip onto. So for this part, this is also pretty easy and it uses a very similar thing. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pass those tails through our clip and we're gonna go across and across. And then we're gonna flip it over one more time. And we want a bit of length here, not too much, but we're gonna make a few knots in this section from the clip to the knot we're gonna do more knots going backwards. So just like we were doing that knot, we're gonna straighten that out a bit. And just like before, but you can see we've got a bit of gap there. So we're gonna fill that up with knots. So we'll do this one, flip it over again. We'll do another knot on this side. Flip it over again. You can see that we're kind of slowly filling up between the two knots now. There we go. And then flip it over one more time and it looks like we got enough space for one more knot right there. So that's that'll be our last one that we pull in nice and tight. So we'll go like this here. We'll lock it in there nice and tight. You can see that kind of gives us a nice, it just looks like a continuous, like nice little knot section there, which works out pretty handy. And then all we need to do is snip, whoops, let's get our scissors in there. Snip those off, well that one's a bit long. We can trim that one up a bit. There we go. We'll just untape this from our table here. Pull the tape off, pull that off to the side. And there we go. We have our nice faux leather uh, braided clip. There you go.